Are you looking for a low risk strategy for collecting premiums while selling options? Then the wheel strategy might be the one for you. It involves selling cash secured puts and covered calls in a cyclical manner to generate profit. So how does this work? We start the wheel by selling a cash secured put on a stock we believe to be mildly bullish. Ideally, the stock would go up and premiums collected without stock assignment. However, if it is assigned, you will have 100 shares of stock at a pretty good price. So what do you do when the stock goes up and the put expires? This is perfect because you keep the premium from the put that expires worthless and you get to sell a new one collecting the premium again. You can continue repeating this process of selling a cash secured put, letting it expire worthless, and then selling another one indefinitely. But what if the stock price drops and your put gets assigned? Well, now you own 100 shares of the stock. So the next step that you do if this happens is to sell a covered call. Ideally, the strike price for the call should be above the price the shares got assigned for. This way you can profit from the sale of the stock itself in addition to the option premium you collect by selling the call. If the price never rises above the strike price, your call will expire worthless. You keep the premium from that option and sell a new covered call collecting a new premium. You can then continue repeating this process of selling a covered call, letting it expire worthless, and then selling a new one indefinitely. As this diagram illustrates, you start the process by selling a cash secured put. If the stock price goes down, you get assigned 100 shares at a lower price. Then you sell a covered call, and if the stock price goes up, you collect the premium while selling the shares for a higher price and make a profit. Fantastic, right? You make your premium and a profit, and then you repeat the cycle all over again. As I mentioned in the beginning, this strategy is great for when you're mildly bullish on a stock, or even if it's just going sideways. But what if you think the market has peaked? It's when you think the stock price has gotten too high that you might want to pause on selling a new put. This is because if the price falls, you could end up owning the stock at a fairly high price just as it's entering a downward cycle. However, you can protect yourself when the stock price starts getting too high by buying a put at a lower strike price than the one you sold. This creates a spread that prevents you from getting stuck with the stock at too high of a price if it takes a major dive. With the spread, your maximum loss is only the price difference between the put you sold and the put you bought. If the stock price drops too far after the put assignment, you may want to wait before selling the call. If you do sell a call, don't open it for a strike price so low you lose money on the sale of the stock. However, each call that you sell that expires worthless effectively reduces your cost basis on the stock. So factor that in when setting your next strike price. As you repeat this cycle over and over, you're going to build up a nice pile of cash. Once you have enough, you can start a new cycle by selling a cash secured put on a different stock or even on the same stock that you're already trading on. With two options going at any given time, you will be doubling the amount of income that you're bringing in. As you can imagine, at double the pace, it won't take long before you have enough cash to start a third cycle going, and then a fourth, and a fifth. This is a very low risk way to scale your options trading while a market is going up or even just going sideways. Now the wheel strategy is a great way to establish a passive options income, but it does come with some risk. And the main risk is on the stock itself. This strategy is reliant on trading options on a high quality, stable stock that isn't at risk for a big fall. If you choose a riskier stock, you must remember that you're going to be in a long stock position once the put is assigned. If that company gets into trouble and the stock craters, you could lose big. As with any option strategy, make sure you have a solid understanding of the risks involved before implementing a calendar spread. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also make sure you subscribe to see more great videos just like this. And if you ever have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching.